Hey guys, my name is Ryan. And my name is Miska. Welcome to Of What Central. So to begin with, there are a few things that you need to know about this list of heroes that we've created. We've picked these particular heroes judging from stats gathered by various Of What player stat sites, and have compared this to the experience we've had at the start of season in Platinum, and I've also talked to players in the skill tiers this video is about. You obviously won't be able to just pick these heroes up in low ranked and win every single time, but there are certain maps and approaches that you can take with these heroes that should give you consistent results. Please Please do comment below if you agree or disagree with any of our picks, let us know your thoughts on the topic and drop a like if you're enjoying the video, it really helps us out. Anyway let's kick off with our first hero. Alright so just hang on there a second we actually have a sponsored message. This is from Gamerlink which is a great looking for group app so if you're looking for people to play with an overwatch they can really hook you up. It's super easy to sign up and you can just avoid having these trolls like Torbjorns on attack and so on in your games. You can search for players on PC, Xbox and Playstation 4 so yeah you can find people with certain roles and in certain skill levels as well. It's just to click the link in the description to give it a try, it's free. And just a reminder that these sort of ads really help us out allowing for Ryan and me to keep doing Doing this as our full-time jobs so we'd really appreciate some feedback on these types of ads as well anyway let's get back into the video so first up on our list we have Farah, which we do agree is a hero that some of you even in these skill tiers may already find a bit frustrating and hard to deal with so maybe out of these underrated heroes it's one of the more less underrated ones so to say anyway the reason as to why we picked Farah is because she is still classed as an off meta pick due to soldier 76 buffs and mccree still being a problem for Farah's. But there are some ways of playing the hero that can work on almost any map and any side, at least in these sort of lower skill tiers. Ferris' most recent buffs actually don't really change her situation much in really high level play, sort of Grand Master and that sort of thing. But in lower ranks there are a lot of people that pick Soldier due to the hero's versatility and strong position in the meta, which is why he's got such a high pick rate right now. And not necessarily because the person picking them is great at aiming, but just because he is a bit favored at the moment. This means that the fly up high as Farah tactic still works in most lower ranks as long as you have basic knowledge of Farah and a rough idea of who you should be targeting as her. You can check out our Master Farah video featuring some great Farah tips if you want to get started with all of that. But yeah, the general idea is that you fly up really high so it's hard for the enemy to hit you, and then you just constantly fire rockets downwards, providing both heavy damage and space for your team. Next up we've picked a hero that is a little bit unique to the current meta. It's very strong because of it, but it's definitely still undervalued. And it is a hero that can dare solo heal a team if you're good enough. She's far from being a hero that is easy to pick up and play due to positioning and aiming being two key factors in her playstyle, and you have to be at least decent at both of those to play her effectively, but she is still incredibly strong. In a lot of lower skill tiers the consistency of Lucian Messi can be attractive on the pick screen, but we encourage people to play Anna too. Whilst she's not as much of an underdog in the meta and is still fairly known to be good, she's still underutilised a lot of the time. If you can play Anna well you can have an extremely high and consistent game impact. Just remember to keep focus on healing primarily so you don't lose yourself in attempts to snipe out the enemy. We did a master episode on Anna 2 together with one amongst many, so you can have a look at that video by clicking on the YouTube card on screen in case you've not watched that one. Even if Anna is nerfed in the next balance patch, which we imagine she will be, she will most likely continue to be a strong pick as long as her healing grenade stays roughly the same. Anti-heal is just that good. And now on to Mei, a hero that will win a lot of the time on certain maps and sides, and definitely is the more situational pick on this list. When defending on Aishinvat's first point, defending on Hanamura as a whole, even when defending Dorado before the first checkpoint, and definitely on most control maps, Mei can be a fantastic pick. A Mei that can split off an enemy team and wall off a choke correctly can help her team take a very easy defensive win, at least on the maps just mentioned, and overall she is great for helping control the pace of a match. It can take a little while to get used to Mei if you haven't really played her a lot in the past, but quick play can definitely help with learning how to wall off and control chokes correctly. There's a lot of frustration around Mei for both teams of course, so this is a hero you have to be a little bit more careful with, but on the maps just mentioned as well, she can definitely give some consistent results. And that's it for this time, thank you very much for watching, that's pretty much our list though, we've picked some heroes that have proven to give us some consistent results, Anna and May in particular are very consistent when we decide to pick them up and play them and they usually work out pretty well. But let us know how you get on and drop us a comment below with your progress, thoughts or just for whatever else you feel is appropriate. Thanks again for watching, take care, we'll see you then.